शिक्षा हम देने को देना लोग है ओके नाउ दैट टेक्निकल ग्लिच हैज बीन सॉल्व एंड नाउ यू कैन सी दर्स वाइब्रेंट वाइब्रेंट वर्ड्स अपियरिंग ऑन योर विंडो सो नाउ लेट अस क्विकली ब्रश अप टू डेज वर्ड्स आई होप I haven't wasted more than five minutes. Now, join as soon as you can. First, very good word used in this article is conflate. Conflate be conflate means combine. Another word is stand off. What is the meaning of stand off? Deadlock. Another word is underwriting. Underwriting. Pay out money in case. in case of damage or loss we use it in the case of insurance another meaning is accept liabilities accept liabilities if specified losses occur next word is hamper it is a very common word but we must know the exact meaning hamper means hinder or prevent another word is augment augment means increase raise next word is imminent imminent means famous and respected another iron out it is phrasal verb iron out is phrasal verb what is the meaning of iron out settle a problem we iron out the differences outlay an amount of money
spent which is put aside at the beginning of the project next word is ale ale means to reduce ease relax next word is siege siege means blockade and the last word is farm gate it is related to direct marketing method describing the price of good if they were purchased directly from a farm direct marketing method now we have seen these words and we are equipped to discuss the editorial the purpose of today's editorial is not only to read this editorial but to emphasize the point that how we elaborate a given topic it will be helpful while writing answer to any questions or writing essay what is happening today everywhere in the news we are observing that the farmers has blocked the national capital region and they are forcing government to consider their demand and the backdrop of this siege is this deadlock is for farm laws three farm laws that have been passed by the government and the important thing is that it is related to farmer and market interface government has introduced a structure for farmer market interface so this is the information we have now we can have our opinion on this subject suppose we want to say that government should not negotiate with farmers or government should be firm on farm laws then we will have to elaborate why we think so and the editorial is suggesting 
in during negotiation what government can do and that is why it is writing highlight planned outlays for farmer prosperity rupees 1 lakh crore has been out outlay of rupees 1 lakh crore is there for this and so government should highlight that part that will be used in farmers prosperity the editorial is beginning with this sentence india has in the food corporations stocks more than 3.5 times the grain needed to ensure food security we have food corporation of india's stock is 3.5 times more than 3.5 times that is required for food security if we all ready have 3.5 times grain then why should government purchase it may be burden on the government so in other in other editorial today's editorial in financial times the editorial suggest that farmer should move from rice and wheat to other crops like maize and it gives reason for that the main issue is we have 3.5 times more than 3.5 times grain stocks and in that case there is need for farm laws that are there and the government should hold firm on those laws and the focus of negotiation should not be farm laws it should be but government should highlight the benefit that will come out of these farm laws next sentence read india's food subsidy configuration conflates producer subsidy and consumption subsidy conflate means to combine it is the combination of product subsidy and consumption subsidy hampering its negotiations at the world trade organization so this food subsidy configuration india is finding it difficult to negotiate at the world trade organization to hamper means to hinder or to prevent the center and the states spend far too much on subsidy and not enough on investment to augment farm infrastructure the editorial is saying that the state and the center spends too much on subsidy and they are not investing to augment or increase farm infrastructure the task of farm augmentation of growth of farm infrastructure is more important than to give subsidy to the farmers things need to change and farmers union cannot refuse to accept this emphatically the editorial emphatically says that things need to change and farmers unions cannot refuse to accept this and farmers union has to accept this the changes brought to the structure of farmer market interface by the three farm laws opposed by the farmers make imminent sense
in fact these three formulas that are related to change of farm market in interface structure these are excellent one the government must stand by the laws and communicate to the people the scale of waste underwriting the status quo on the farm front the government must stand by the laws the government must stand by these three farm laws that are related to farm market interface structure and communicate to the people and government should tell the people the scale of waste underwriting the status quo on the farm front underwriting means pay out money in case of damage or loss a sort of insurance in that term how if the status quo will be maintained how much waste of money will be there that does not change the fact that the stand off over the farm laws is unfortunate because it is entirely avoidable here we see that that does not change the fact that the stand off or deadlock or confrontation over the farm laws is unfortunate because it is entirely avoidable it could have been avoided after all there is no fundamental conflict of goals between farmers and the governments why this confrontation or deadlock or stand off could have been avoided because there is no fundamental conflict of goals there is no fundamental conflict of interest between farmers and the government but that category does not include the intermediaries who down the farmer's turban and ride his tractor the editorial emphatically says that those besieging the capital are not farmers but they are intermediaries who have worn farmer's turban and are riding tractor this may or may not be true but we have to write an essay to the for the topic that government should hold firm on farm laws and we should stick by stick on that very line so there is, as there is no conflict of interest between farmers and the government the whole thing was avoidable both want farmers incomes to go up and for the farm market interface to become more efficient both means farmer and the government both want farmers income to go up and for the farm market interface interface to become more efficient there is a difference in perception over how this can be done and that needs to be ironed out and action taken to address problems commonly recognized as such by all stakeholders there is no difference of opinion that there is need of farm market inter interface that is more efficient there is need of efficient farm market interface there is no difference difference is on perception over how this can be done how we can make farm market interface more efficient and that needs to be ironed out this perception needs to be settled and action 
taken to address problems commonly recognized as such by all stakeholders. This calls for negotiation, not organized blackmail by laying siege to the national capital. Whatever issues are, whatever differences are, that can be negotiated. But organized black blackmailing by seizing the national capital is not acceptable. Negotiations between two parties cease to be negotiations when one party holds a gun to the other party's head. Editorial is using very a strong word. It is saying negotiations between two parties cease to be negotiations when one party holds a gun to the other party's head. You may or may not agree, but this is a very a strong statement and a student while writing I should think before using such a harsh word but it is an editorial it has taken a side and so it is writing in that way because the whole way of thinking is that those protesting or asking for their demands are not farmers but they are intermediaries editorial here is shifting from the point that a large farmer a prosperous farmer there can be prosperous farmers also it is not the case that they will be intermediaries. So taking such a strong view is not wise while writing an essay for students because you must have balanced view. You should give pros and cons. Stereotyping farmers is not good okay there is little anti people in not submitting to coercive action by a fairly prosperous section of India's population further editorial is saying there is little anti people in not submitting to coercive action by a fairly prosperous section of India's population. The editorial has taken the stance that government should not submit to coercive action by a fairly prosperous section of India's population. However, in a democracy, binaries do not work. Binary means yes or no. Political skill lies in finding the middle path. Here, the tone of the editorial is somewhat mild and it is asking for political skills in finding the middle path. The government has announced large outlays to improve the farm market interface. Farm gate infrastructure receives an outlay of 1 lakh 1 lakh crore rupees. This and the incentives for farmer producer organizations have not been accorded a prominent role in the farm laws debate. Highlight this part to allay concerns of ordinary farmers about the farm laws intent. Allay means reduce. In the concluding part, the editorial is saying that farm gate infrastructure is receiving rupees 1 lakh crore outlay every year. This should be highlighted prominently in the farm laws debate. 
and this will reduce concerns of ordinary farmers about the farm loss intent or intention so the whole editorial is biased and prejudiced how it is biased and prejudiced you can see yourself first of all it has taken its own stance that those who are trying to negotiate those who are on the outskirts of delhi and protesting they are not farmers this one assumption has changed the tone of the editorial and the second thing is the editorial thinks that farmers can't be prosperous in fact we have to make farmers prosperous we have to think about them we have to make such type of arrangement that they can shift from present difficulties if farmers in punjab and haryana are producing rice and wheat we have to ask them to sh shift to other crops and for that we will have to give some incentives to them for that we will have to make ecosystem for them because there are issues of water management also subsidized electricity also when we are changing the pattern of the crop if we are shifting from rice to maize in that case a lot of water will be saved and in turn it will reduce the need for electricity also but there will be less profit for the farmers and we will have to compensate that we will have to think in that way out rightly rejecting farmers demand is not good in fact a lot of discussion and debate should have taken place while making these three farm laws if something is very good but we are not discussing a lot we are not debating a lot we are not taking a stakeholders into consideration then it is bound to make differences we have to give publicity to this farm laws we have to make them comfortable with these laws that their interest will be served so merely politicizing the issue is not important there is room for negotiation and we must address farmers queries their suspicion that's all for today we will come again with some interesting topic 
and the importance of these topics is not related only to learn the language or understand the current events but you have to read the tone of the editorial you have to read between the lines so that you can utilize these information when you are writing answer to certain questions when you are writing essays when you are debating discussing the things so from this point of view reading editorial is very important the purpose of editorial is to educate the readers the purpose of the editorial is to form an opinion so we should read different opinion different editorial on the same subject it will help us in comparing the tone and texture of the writing as a student you must address concern of the both sides that is why we always talk of balanced views when you are preparing for civil services examination then you should not go for extreme there is the need for balance in your writing you must substantiate your argument with data and facts and that is lacking that is very much lacking in this editorial in today's editorial who so ever has written he has taken very a strong stance and there are n number of demerits in the reasons explained in the editorial so you have to read in this way the editorials and use it for your exams or for your augmentation of your knowledge so again we will repeat a few words which we have seen today we have come across the word conflate means combine stand off deadlock underwriting pay out money in case of damage or loss accept liabilities if specified losses occur hamper hinder prevent augment increase or raise imminent famous and respected excellent iron out to settle a problem outlay an amount of money spent during the beginning of any project allay reduce ease relax siege 